Right, this is the coach house. Beautiful rural location here. Um, stunning countryside. At the back of the property on the hills, you can see Skelton's gallops, racehorses. I'm going to take you around to the side of the property first, um, where you can see there are electric gates that open out into a further secure parking area in front of the double detached garage with um, storage above, loft space. Another steps at the side of the building here. Little terrace off the master bedroom up there, which we'll come to shortly. See the gallops in the background there, the white posts. Um, decent sized garden without being over big. Uh, so it's manageable. Bit of a log store here on the side of the garage. And a rather nice feature pond, which is uh, naturally fed, giving the garden some definition. So there's the back of the building. I'm going to go in through the kitchen. Uh, so we'll go in through the back door rather than back around through the front. Um, so the kitchen and family room pretty much goes across the majority of the rear of the building. Um, so in the sitting area here, you've got a beautiful fireplace and a fabulous log burner there. The Candine floor. Fitted kitchen, oven hob, extractor, microwave and uh, dishwasher, of course. Um, and then a utility room here with a sink and uh, obviously washing machine. And then they created a little study here on the on the side with its own independent access so anybody working from home that could be quite useful so back through the kitchen uh, we'll go through the hallway um, where you can see the stairs on the right quite a big hall actually plenty of room for a christmas tree that's for sure um, with a sitting room on the left hand side generous room and then on the right We've got a downstairs WC there, and then an L-shaped dining room with some lovely full height windows on the front. Go around the corner there. So we'll go back uh, into the hall and upstairs. master bedroom is here on the right um, with um, those Miller steps we, we saw earlier on outside. So master bedroom, bullocks front and rear, views from all three windows including the French doors overlooking some of Warwickshire's finest. Lots of exposed timbers and then before we leave the master suite there's a ensuite shower room here of good proportion. Moving back out onto the landing, the guest bedroom is right at the other end of the building. And like the master, it's got Velux windows to front and rear, and again, exposed timbers. And this one has some rather nice fitted oak wardrobes and shelving. Two further bedrooms, this being the smaller of the two. And this one they've used more as a study and dressing room, so this one's got some fitted furniture. And then finally up here, we've got the family bathroom. Period style suite, as you'd expect. White in colour with a fitted mixer shower over the bath. And that is the coach house.